This video may contain high levels of secondhand embarrassment and some cringeworthy content, so your discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Tashi. Thanks for clicking on this video. And don't forget, if you enjoy the content, hit that little subscribe button. That way you get notified every single time I post a new video and you become a part of the family. For today, we're gonna be taking a look at some old pictures. Some from decades ago, some from five years ago, and some as recent as three years ago. Guys, trigger warning. You're gonna feel high levels of secondhand embarrassment and you're gonna get some cringe pictures for those of you who love looking at cringe pictures. So watch till the end because it just gets better and better with the pictures I'm about to show you. For the first picture, this is probably when I was six years old, to say, yeah, maybe about six years old, older, I don't know. I was a thick kid. I was so close to these birds, these loons, ducks, whatever you wanna call them, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're loons. Please don't come at me guys, I'm not a bird expert, but whoever is, leave it in the comment section below. Guys, if you don't know me on a personal level, I am scared of everything and anything. Things that move, the dark, food, scary movies, people, I'm scared of everything. The fact that I'm so close to these birds, and it's not even like one or two birds, it's their whole family, their cousins, they fully have a bird family reunion and I'm in the middle of that family reunion. Your girl doesn't even look faced. And the fact that my mom's just looking at me, staring at afar, is super cute. But, no. I was a brave kid back then. I don't know how things changed, but yeah. I was wearing a cute visor, can't like, I'm not hating about that, but Guys, that visor makes my forehead look like a basketball. So, yeah. But overall, it's a really cute picture. I don't know how I didn't get attacked during or after this picture. But yeah, this is overall one of my favorite pictures. For the next one, this is just a picture of me and my brother chilling in her living room. Honestly, I wish I could explain to you guys this face that I'm making. Am I disgusted? Do I smell something bad? Am I about to throw up? Am I cranky? I don't know. I don't know what face that was. I, I think I just need Jesus in this. Yep, I, I fully just need Jesus in this picture. Um, my brother looks super cute, not gonna lie. You can tell he's a normal child in this picture. The oldest usually tends to have some devilish um, attitudes and blood in them. And throwback, whoever remembers these little doilies, that little white doily that your parents would put everywhere and anywhere to make everything and anything look bougie. They put it on tables, couches, on everything. Like guys, I remember these doilies everywhere. We got fancy as the years went on. Instead of them being made out of, like, I don't know what they're made out of, fabric. We got fancier and they were made out of lace and stuff, but throwback to those guys, whoever remembers those little crochet doilies. And um, most of you probably remember your grandparents having these as well, but yeah, I remember my parents used to love these little doilies. This next picture. Guys, there's so many things wrong in this picture. There are so many things wrong in this picture. For starters, my hair. I do apologize, this is going to scar some of you. Mine and my brother's hair were pretty close in style, length, everything. Maybe if I turned around from the back and my brother turned around from the back, you wouldn't be able to tell a difference. Hello? Mom? Who made you think this was a good idea? Why'd you gotta do me dirty like that? And the funny thing is about this picture. When I asked my mom, she was so calm, so collected, like it was like a normal thing. Like, mom, like, why did you cut my hair like a boy? Like, me and my brother have the same hairstyle. Like, why, why was that a thing and why did you think it was a good idea? Oh, um, 
it was getting hotter and your hair is like super curly it used to get really tangly and you hated when I brushed it so I thought this was the best decision mom do you know what bullying is this is what people get bullied for in school at this time I believe I was in kindergarten yeah, it looks like I was turning six or seven. I was maybe kindergarten, grade one, something like that. As I mentioned, I was chunky, so it's, I'm kind of struggling to tell what grade and what age I was in. But yeah, this is a haircut that you get bullied for. You're at the prime level of the pyramid for getting bullied with this haircut as a girl, especially when you're like years ago, like 10, 20 years ago. Guys, there's so many things wrong. And if you look in the picture as well, my two cute cousins are in it too. I feel so bad for them because not only was my mom brilliant enough to come up with the haircut, but she influenced my cousin's mom and then we were all screwed. Not only did I have to look like a boy, but my girl cousins have to too. Guys, I apologize in advance. Mm. But we rocked it, not gonna lie. We wore crowns, hats, we lived our best life. We didn't even know we were getting bullied at that time, but we lived our best life. The second issue. You can tell I'm a piggy from a young age. Everyone is just looking at the camera, excited, like singing, looking at our parents. My fat ass obviously is looking at the cake. I already know I was the first one probably to eat that cake or dip my hand in that cake. Because I am looking at that cake like I've never seen cake before in my life. Like this is a free-for-all and after we're done taking these pictures, this cake is all for me. One thing I do like about this picture, my mom was pretty cute to put me in a nice white dress. It looked like I was going to my own wedding as a kid. But yeah. And throwback to combined birthdays, guys. Those were the best. For the next picture, for those of you who had communions when you were younger and you remember the whole thing of getting dressed up in a white dress and doing your hair and whatever as I mentioned guys I was a thick kid so of course me wearing a white dress and then my mom put a little like tool on my head with like some flowers that was hella cute there's two problems there though one because I was thick of course in the picture that we took together as a class I was at the front right in the middle I don't have that picture guys I can't find it just imagine me being that thick kid right in the middle wearing that little crown lace tiara flowers on my head and everything my teacher's like she's the perfect person to go right in the middle she's thick enough she's wearing this tiara has uh, flowers in her hair she's the most extra she'll go right in the middle and like some of my classmates like didn't have those type of things in their hair. They weren't as extra as my parents made me to be. So of course I was right in the middle as a target. And you know that when you're thick, when you put all your hair back, your face just looks like a ball. So that's exactly what my face looks like in this picture. I just look like a round ball. My cheeks look like they're going to eat themselves in this picture. And can we talk about my polka belly too? My dress did me good and hit it, but guys, we all know there's a polka belly in there somewhere. Yeah, overall, this is a cute picture, guys. My mom is A1 for doing my hair that day because it looks hella cute. For the next few pictures, guys, these are ones that I get a little older. Thank God, because I spared us all. The other ones were just all types of mess. This was when colored pants were in. Remember maybe seven years ago, eight years ago, for all my girls that remember when skinny jeans just became a thing, colored skinny jeans were in in all types of colors, bright pink, bright purple, bright blue, bright red, throwback to those, I love those colored jeans. But wearing those colored jeans and having the experience I do now in terms of knowing how to style things in fashion. God help me. God help me. God help me. Whoever had to look at me during this time. And honestly, one important question. Who let me leave the house like this? Like what made me think this was a good idea? And before I left the house and I looked in the mirror, 
I thought to myself, this is a good idea, this is a bomb outfit, I'm going to leave the house like this, and I'm going to take pictures like this too. Mm. The jeans are super cute, guys. I love pink. They were in back then. That's whatever. That's not the issue. This was probably around springtime, so you could see like trees are blooming, whatever. I'm in like a tank top. Why am I wearing winter boots? Like, you know those Ugga style boots? Yeah, they're comfy, they're cute, but why am I wearing them in the springtime? Like, did I not have another pair of shoes? And what was I thinking? Hey, it's spring, but these boots are what match my spring outfit. And if you guys know me, I love doing the kissy face in pictures. Till today, the kissy face is my prime signature face that I like to do in pictures. So that's the only thing I got right in this picture. Other than that, there's just... Mm, no. No, hunty. Not today. Another fail picture. This is when Forever 21 first opened in my city. And everyone and their moms were going to Forever 21 like it was the end of the world. Going there, taking pictures in the change room, taking pictures entering, buying everything. I have those Ugg style boots again. The only difference is, guys, I remember during this time it was winter, so it's okay. But, throw back to the blackberries, guys. I loved blackberries. I was a blackberry fanatic, and I, yeah, I used that thing till it was at its last limb. One, what am I doing with my hand there? Like, it's not, what is it for? Why is it there? And another thing, guys, I love mirror pictures, but you get to a certain age where you don't take mirror pictures in stores anymore. Like, at that time, you're like, oh, like, yes, I'm at the store, let me take a picture in the change room, this, that. But then once you get older, you're like, why am I taking a picture in the change room? Why am I wasting my time in this change room? Everyone knows it's in a change room. That's what I think when I look back at this picture. And, yeah, my tongue's out. No. Put that back in, hunty. Don't stick out your tongue. No. I, God help me for thinking that was a cute picture back then. The sad thing is, I remember posting this on social media too. Thinking that I was popping. I was top level. I'm like, oh my gosh, I look so cute. This is such a cute pose. No one's going to know what change room this is in. Throw back to this picture, guys. So cringe. For the next picture. Guys, get yourself a snack. Get yourself water. This is next level i can't i can't with this and the sad thing is this is one of my recent ones too so the embarrassment level is at a high point for starters my hair is a little cute yes i like my hair like that it's not really curly whatever the sunglasses are the size of my face the sunglasses take up half of my face and the focal point of this face anyone who looks at this picture will fully look at the sunglasses first Minus everything else that's messed up about this picture. Guys, I love big sunglasses, but my face doesn't look good with big sunglasses, if that makes sense. Like, they don't compliment me very well because, yeah, you could clearly tell in this picture. I look like a fly. Like, you know those flies that have the big eyes? Yeah, that's exactly what I can think of. Then, I'm wearing this little bow lace thing. Okay, whatever. That is super cute. That's more dressy top. Then I'm wearing like really, really short shorts. Throwback to when I had that confidence level to wear those shorts. But yeah, no, there are so many things wrong in this picture. And that pink li lipstick, girl, you're too white for that shade of lipstick. Take it off. Take it off. If I had like olive toned skin, guys, which I should, um, this would look fine, but because I'm so pale, the picture looks dark, but guys, in reality, I'm pale. This lipstick is not okay. Like, it's just, mm -mm, no, not today. For those of you who know me on a personal level, you know that every year I have multiple weddings, multiple parties, engagements, all that type of fun stuff to go to. And every year, Especially growing up now. It's like whatever I just do as I please but every single year when I was a bit younger I would make it my prime goal to get a pop-in 
popping, what I thought was popping, picture of me before going to a wedding. Whether that be in the most ghetto spot, the most random spot, and the dumbest spot I could think of to take a picture. I just had that mission. My mission of the year when going to all these events was to take a good picture in a nice dress, dressed up, whatever. At the time, I thought this was cute. I remember I was so proud of this picture. This was one of my favorite pictures I posted on Facebook, and I had this up for years because, guys, if um, before I was very, very chunky, like I was like overweight chunky, and this picture showed that I lost some weight, so I was feeling myself. No matter how ghetto, how embarrassing this picture looked. I was feeling myself, so I'm like, you know what, this picture's gonna do me good. Maybe my outfit is like cute, not gonna lie, I, I like the outfit, I'll probably wear it again. The destination of this picture is not okay. First of all, that blue chalk, blue spray paint, whatever it is on the sidewalk, no. Like, did I not have the common sense to crop that out? Like, hey, this is the classy picture that I think I'm going to take. But this blue spray paint looks all types of messed up. Like, it looks like I'm in the middle of God knows where taking this picture on some type of corner. I didn't have the common sense to know what cropping was or to crop this blue line. Then, you can tell that I'm suffering in this picture. You can tell that I'm hot. I hate my hair because it's all pinned up and I'm restricted. You could just tell I'm not. Like that smile is not, not genuine, hunty. You could so tell. And then, as I mentioned before, how white I was in this picture, like it's pretty close to the dress. Like honestly, the picture makes it look dark. That's the funny thing. But in a person, because I was so pale and this dress was like a cream color, no. I looked like a chunky marshmallow. Not like a nice shaped round cute marshmallow. A marshmallow that's just all chunked up and messed up. That's what I looked like in this picture. Because I was just too pale for this dress. As cute as it was, as much as I loved it. Again, back then, your girl did not even know what self tanner was tanning all that good stuff mm -mm, no for the next picture this was when my cousin came from the states and it was in the middle of the summer i had just got my license and we were feeling ourselves i felt bad and bougie i'm like okay i got my license girl we don't need to rely on getting rides like we're living our best life we don't need our parents to hold our hand we can do whatever we want so, when my cousin came over, I remember, we went and got drinks, and we went to this random park, and we just had a photo shoot. This is one of my favorite memories, because I remember I had a bomb time that day. And all the pictures we ended up taking, I ended up loving. Like, not gonna lie, me and my cousin looked so cute. But, for this picture in particular, one issue... What's my face? What am I doing? And why? You can see like my cousin so cute, classy, whatever. And then you see my face. One, why is my mouth open? Two, why did I think that was a good idea and that was okay? And three, guys, if you ever see anyone taking a picture like this thinking it's cute now, no matter what they age they are, just like opening their mouth, send help. Send help. Don't don't even hesitate. Send all and type of help you can think of. Jesus, fire department, police officer, parents, siblings, send help. They need help. Cause honestly, me looking back on this picture, I'm just so embarrassed for myself. For the next picture. This is one of my favorite pictures of all the ones I talked about today. It's not as embarrassing as the others. And it's just a picture of me and one of my close friends during graduation or prom, whatever you guys want to call it in high school. 
I look put together, my outfit looks cute, my hair looks cute, perfect. That's not the issue. Can you even see my eyes in this picture? Are they even there? Where'd they go? And that's what wrecked the picture. You can see my friend looks flawless. You can see my dress looks pretty cute, not gonna lie. But because my cheeks are so thick, and I don't know how to properly take a picture with my eyes open, my eyes are non-existent. So all you see is a line and some black eyeliner. We love this for us. This would have been such a perfect picture, but of course I had to wreck it. Again, with me wrecking pictures with friends or anyone, for those of you who know me on a personal level, you know I talk a lot, I rant a lot, and I never shut up. Out of me and my friends, I'm the one who's usually talking the most, always has something to say. And this is shown in this picture. Again, this is a picture of me and one of my close friends. I didn't see her for a while and we saw each other and we decided to take a picture at this random restaurant. She's ready, perfect, good to go, so photogenic. I, of course, am talking. Because I can't shut up for even one minute, I had to wreck this picture by talking. We only needed one good picture, just as a nice memory, and I had to wreck it. Not only by talking, but also by not opening my eyes. This is a little better than the previous one, but again, my eyes look like slits, and because my cheeks are still on the thicker side, it doesn't help either, so that wrecks it. And we're not gonna talk about my shirt. That's a whole nother problem on its own. After this picture, I should have burned it. God knows what happened to it now, but after this picture, mm, that shirt was not for me. I should have burned it. Mm. Yeah, no, there's too many things wrong in that picture because of me. That wraps up me reacting to my old photos. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking till the end for those of you who did. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to go leave a comment in the section down below your favorite picture most cringe picture your best reaction one of the lines i said anything and everything you liked about this video leave it in the comment section below i love filming this video guys not gonna lie i felt really nostalgic just looking at these and reminiscing so yeah i hope you guys enjoy and until next time guys enjoy the rest of your week